right, everybody. So I've covered this story before, but we have a lot of updates. So we're going to do like a little rundown on what actually took place. And we're going to talk about the updates in the death of Andre Montgomery. Okay, so from 2011 to 2018, the OWN Network previewed this new reality show called Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Welcome to Sweetie Pies was centered around this restaurant in St. Louis, but the owner was really famous. Her name was Miss Robbie, and she used to sing with the Ikex. So people all around the world would not only travel to come try out this food, they would travel just to see Miss Robbie because she was famous. Helping Miss Robbie run this restaurant was her son, Tim Norman. Now, in the show, you guys, I was a faithful watcher of the show. I watched a couple of, like, episodes in the first season. And Tim really seemed like he was trying to be in control of everything. I'm not going to lie. From the first time I saw Tim, it was something about him. Even down to his relationship with the girl, Janae, and his son. It was always something about Tim. He, he just rubbed me the wrong way. Nevertheless, Sweetie Pies is doing good. It's family oriented. Everybody in there either knows each other or their family. Miss Robbie is really running this restaurant really good and she starts opening other locations. So at one point in time, she brings her grandson, Andre Montgomery, down to St. Louis from Texas. So Andre's father was Miss Robbie's son and so that'll be Tim's brother. They bring Andre down. They're trying to give him a better life. He ends up graduating high school. Everything is going good with Andre. But in 2015, Ms. Robbie's home was burglarized. Now, they're saying over $200,000 was stolen, jewelry, and some items that couldn't be replaced. So, Ms. Robbie really felt like it was Andre. But after all of this happened, it's being said that Andre had up and left and went back to Texas. Now, she texts Andre and she's like, look, come back, take this polygraph test. I want to make sure you're not the person who stole and burglarized my home. Andre texts his grandmother back and he's like, look, grandma, I didn't do anything to your home. I didn't steal anything. And I'm afraid to come back because Tim is just giving me weird vibes. So in these text messages, Miss Robbie is like, look, if you didn't do anything, just come back. Just come take the test. I find it strange that you don't want to take the polygraph test. But y'all, he is adamant. He's like, look, I'm afraid to come back. I don't want to come back. I don't trust Tim. I don't even want to be texting you because I don't know who you showing these text messages to. Y'all, Miss Robbie and Andre, they were really, really close. Miss Robbie loved her grandchildren and she really loved Andre because this was her son that passed away's child. So I honestly feel like Miss Robbie felt like in her heart, Andre really did not take her money or burglarize her home, but I feel like she needed to prove to Tim that it wasn't him. When I look back on this now, I'm starting to think that maybe Tim was the one that burglarized his mother's home and he put it so on Andre. So on March 10th, 2016, Andre agrees to go back to St. Louis. He's like, I didn't steal these things, so I'm going to come back and prove myself, finally. He comes back, he talks to investigators, and he tells investigators, I think that my Uncle Tim is behind what happened. Now, y'all, this is very important because only four days after this, Andre was found dead. Tell who did this to Andre. They set him up. It was somebody he knew because he got a phone call and he went outside. And when he got outside, they shot him. Tragically, 21 year old Andre, he was gunned down, y'all. And Miss Robbie, she's fighting to try to find justice. She wants to know what happened to her grandson. She brought him here for a better life. She really wanted to give him that better life. But sadly, that was cut short. So dealing with reality TV, they filmed everything. So they ended up going to the place where allegedly Andre lost his life. Tim, he's choked up. He's visibly upset. He can't believe this happened to his nephew. But y'all, four years after Andre was tragically gunned down, Tim Norman was arrested and charged with the murder of Andre. Authorities are saying that about a year before Andre was gunned down, Tim took out a life insurance policy for about $450,000. Not only that, get this, it's being said that he was messing around with this stripper by the name of Terrica Ellis since 2009. Authorities are saying that they have proof that he paid Terrica $10,000 to lure Andre to that home where he was killed. He then paid another man $5,000 to carry out this murder. I pled guilty in a murder for hire case took the stand today in Tim Norman's trial. The Welcome to Sweetie Pie star is accused of being the mastermind in the death of his nephew, Andre Montgomery Jr. Our Justina Cornell was in the courtroom. 
Today, the jury heard from two key witnesses. Tarika Ellis and Travel Hill have already pled guilty in this case and took the stand this afternoon. Ellis was a stripper at the time, and she says she was in a sexual relationship with Norman for a few years. A week before the shooting, she was dancing at an East St. Louis club and met Montgomery, and they exchanged numbers from there. She tells the jury back in 2016, Norman asked her to help find his nephew and would pay her $10,000. So Terrica and Travell, they both pled guilty. They started spilling the beans. They started telling it all. They said that this man had burner phones. He had a whole plot plan to kill Andre. His own nephew, whose father was already dead, y'all. So this man lost his brother and then killed his brother's son. Now, y'all know once Tim went to court, he started lying. He started saying that he wanted a better life for Andre and he took care of Andre. He put Andre in a really good school. But that does not shy away from the fact that you set this man up and you had him. Kyle, an exotic dancer, took the stand and testified that Norman paid her to follow his nephew. The accused shooter also testified that Norman paid him to pull the trigger. Both of them pled guilty to their parts in the crime. Meanwhile, Norman's lawyer called all of that a made-up theory. He then used a paramour to locate Mr. Montgomery and a co-defendant to fatally shoot and kill him. And within days of his nephew's murder, Mr. Norman started the process of getting the insurance company to pay the claim. Now, y'all, I rarely really state how I feel about a person when I do these videos, but it's a special place in hell for Tim Norman. I don't know if Welcome to Sweetie Pies is on Hulu or anywhere where you can go back and watch the seasons, but y'all, please just go back and watch the show. You will really see how manipulative he was, how crazy he was, and I'm going to be real. I honestly feel like Miss Robbie was next, and I hate to say that. He would have did something to his own mama for a chick. My heart completely broke when I heard about Andre being killed because this man wanted another chance at life. He was only 21 years old. On the episode where he graduated, I was I was happy like he was my family member because he was just doing better. My heart especially goes out to Miss Robbie because I know now that her son Tim has been found guilty of murder. This has to be really hard on her. I mean, the fact that she tried to get Andre to come back just to take this polygraph test. Maybe if Andre had stayed away, he would still be alive. Tim robbed his mama. He made it seem like Andre robbed the mama in order to get Andre to come back and take the fall for it. But I feel like once it didn't go through how he thought it was going to go through, he then murdered Andre. Now, yes, I do feel like it was also about the life insurance policy because I think that he thought that if he got Andre out of the way, Everything will be over with and he could get this money and live his best life. Y'all, I hope this man spends the rest of his life in prison. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. This one was crazy.